Welcome to Spicy Reacts. We got a video from Tyler Oliveira. And this is not my video. If you want to see the original, the links will be down below. And the video is I investigated the Myrtle, the murder capital of the world. All right, let's say it. This is Jamaica, the murder capital of the world. That's a big old knife. Have you ever had to use it on anyone? Mm, no. It's going to take him to. Oh. Okay, got it. That's the country is at a level what? three, just below the do not travel alert. The State Department says Jamaica's homicide rate is one of the highest Tyler, in the Jane. Western Hemisphere. Those boys on the road is, they is fish. He's not a fish. You're a shark. Yeah, yeah. Are you a killer? Yeah, we rock you. Jamaica consistently ranks number one or number two Whoa. in murders per capita year over year. But why are people killing each other so often? I met up with local YouTuber Jamaica Walkby to go to Trenchtown, a neighborhood famous for being the home of reggae legends like Bob Marley and for being extremely dangerous. Question for you. We noticed a lot of um, flags on the walls. Is there like- Jamaica was a safe spot. Yes. Yeah. I suppose it's whatever, whatever, yeah. it's whatever, whatever part you go to. Yeah. It's the crime and violence sometimes we just need that for stop just the crime and violence okay just that you see bit people get killed yeah but it's happening everywhere right is it dangerous yeah, out here that's right well nowhere is safe to be honest yes it gets dangerous at times do people shoot each other <laughs> yeah would you believe me if i said jamaica is the murder capital of the world yes yeah what do you mean by nowhere is safe like everywhere there is violence even overseas as well would you believe me if I said Jamaica was number one or number two murder capital of the world? No. Does it get dangerous out here at night? <laughs> Sometimes. Gangs? Yeah, call it that. People get killed out here? Yeah, man, all the while. Yeah? Why is that? Uh, people love party. What's your least favorite part about Jamaica? Party? Uh, crime. What types of crime? Crime. Enos crime. 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 Murder. And then I saw this dude rolling up a spliff who claimed to know everyone out here. Hey there. What have you been up to today? Rolling up a spliff? Yeah, I know. I'm going over the farm. The farm? The farm, the farm, that is a farm. Right over there. Yeah, we can go over there, come. While my guide was nowhere in sight, I first thought I was uh -oh. setting myself up to get robbed. But it turns out, this guy was giving me a full tour of the community with unexpected hospitality. Okay. Right, we're visiting the garden right now. A little baby young mango. Is this where you make the juice? Yeah. I want to uh, grow a mango That's tree, nice but I can't. Right there. You could come to the farm, chill out, have a good time. Maybe we don't want to sleep on the road. You got a cowboy, so but you could sleep. Wow. Set a tent. So even I can come in here and say, hey, I got nowhere to stay. You stay. Respect. Ganja, whoa. Ganja. I didn't even notice it. We got the weed. Two little pigs. Uh -huh. While this community was seemingly fully self-sufficient, I wanted to hear about the reality of some of the problems they actually faced. What have you seen out here? Well, we're seeing um, a lot of people dying by guns. That is the most violence we are seeing right now, and it is very disturbing. It's not healthy for the community. It's not healthy for visitors. Yes, I heard they are swapping um, animals for gun. I'm not sure. I love their accent. How is it out here in Trenchtown? Well, Trenchtown is full of crime and violence going on. It's been a long, long time now till my child come and get involved by crossfire. He's now shot and can't walk of a spinal damage. Oh, shit. Oh, your son was shot in the crossfire? Yes. So he was just minding his own business and he got hit with a stray bullet? He went to the shop coming back and the drive-by stopped going to the shooting. Oh, was he involved? No. Did he just a random... He's 10 years old? Yes. Oh, it's it's just one of these things out here where snap of a finger, everything changes. Someone's unlucky. That's what it is. He survived. He's just not walking right now yeah. because the damage. What's something you wish you could change? That's a tragic story. I'm sorry to hear. I could change the crime and violence because it's a community for yeah. tourism and a lot of things. A lot of talented people come from here, live here. Yeah. Brilliant children. Thing is just different now and it wasn't like this before. As you can see, the community is like. It's a cemetery. Right here? The, the entire community, the whole entire place is trench town. And I would like to sing a song for my trench town. All right, let's hear it. I want leave the issue on the tissue. Flush it in the toilet. 
I war them a deal with say me can't take that. War them a deal with say me can't take that. Hey, gunshot a beat man a fi get down flat. The baby pon the bed say them no response for that. The devil send them come back at us right and spot. After hearing her musical plea to end violence, the village doctor pulled up to sell me a magical concoction to give me boners. Stiff wood, no yes. conscience. <laughs> Is this to get boners? Yeah. Whoa! So you drink this, you get a boner? Yeah. I hope to buy the juice. <laughs> no, no, it's a sex. Yeah, it's a sex, it's a sex oh, yeah, of course, so, of course. Always... Make your wood get well out. Uh... <laughs> no, you can't have that one. We've talked to a lot of the locals. We met uh, this what, a, what a funny We're guy. Video, but everyone's super nice. How are you doing? <laughs> you smoking a spliff? Most wanted. Dancing, we're role playing. Yeah. What is your name? Raven. Raven, I like that name. You ever seen uh, Teen Titans Go? <laughs> <laughs> After hearing about the violence this community faced, Jamaica Walk By took me to a production studio to see what Trenchtown is also famous for. Musical. Make your people a nice people, man. Music. Like, let's check it out. We are in a production. You wouldn't studio. think that this would this, this, this thing would be the capital of violence. Acoustically optimized sound booth in here. It's moments like these when I realize people are mostly the same all across the world and are generally all pursuing ways of increasing their quality of life, surviving, and coping through trauma and various hardships. Everything was done inside. Do you charge for studio time too when people come in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's smart. <laughs> you can find us on YouTube, Instagram, anything, Spotify, just type in Ingenious Brings. Yeah. Wow, so much talent out here. After hearing about the good, bad, and ugly of Trenchtown, I headed to Spanish Town. Sections of Spanish Town in St. Catherine remained tense after okay. gunmen went on a deadly shooting rampage in the market district. Three persons, two of them, they all seem happy, nice, gangs in the funny, parish, were killed. A city with a reputation as perhaps the most dangerous city in Jamaica and often considered a no-go zone to outsiders. So we decided to go there to see how it earned its reputation and if it still held true. Uh, we made it to Spanish Town. This is the quote-unquote no-go zone, so they say, but here we are. How are you doing? Got any thoughts on Spanish Town? It's a very dangerous place. Is it? Yeah, yeah. For reals? Yeah, yeah. Are you lying to me? No, I'm not lying. Okay, in what ways is it dangerous? I cannot explain. What do you mean? It's private. It's confidential. We don't know. What do you mean? It's rumors. Rumors? Yeah, yeah. It's been a pleasure. Stay safe. Stay in school. Same to you. You think I'll survive? No. Actually? Yes. Because I'm white? No. So you think we should actually watch our backs out here? Yeah. What would they do? Stab us? Take the camera? Everything I can think of. How is Spanish down? Uh, time bomb. Time bomb? Yep. What does that mean? Like, You never know when it's going up. Have you heard gunshots out here? <laughs> yeah. You think we'll die today? No, not today. Not today? Not today. Today's a good thing. This is what you're talking about. Keep on, there's bullet holes on that thing. When we saw a beryllium truck, that's the equivalent what? of one of the trucks in the U.S. that carries the cash, yeah. which means that someone's probably planning to steal from it right now. All right. I hear this place is dangerous. Is that true or no? No. Yeah, yeah. No? Sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes. Sometimes. Who's doing the craziness out here? Uh, uh, <laughs> people with the guns. Come on in. This is where the products are made. Feel safe out here? Yeah, man. What are your thoughts on the police? I mean, you see, you see, you see Jamaica situation, right? Um, come about from the independence movement from Britain. Jamaica gained independence 1962 from Britain. But with that, it, it, it came with a, a lot of um, difficulties because of the constitution. But my parents, they didn't have the, the choice to make um, their decision what type of constitution they wanted. Right? The constitution did not Aye. have much in it to, to support the, the development of the Jamaican people. And so, you know, I can't tell you much, but I can say, for example, they gave the, the, the constitution, the prime minister, too much power. In that sense, we can't have a democratic um, Jamaica. All right. Thank you, Prince. That was very well put. Ah. Many confirming the dangerous reputation out here, others were hesitant to acknowledge its reality. The white man. Hi there. I am white. How do you like Spanish town? Spanish Town, good my bad. Do you think tourists are afraid to come here to Spanish Town? No, 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 not anymore. Spanish Town, not bad. Yeah, all the while, Mr. Well, Dem. It's the last time you've heard a gunshot. Long time, you know, you're not a gunshot. No 
Okay. Do you think you guys are the murder capital of the world? No, 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 no. You think that's a lie? No. That's a lie. They are all right now. There's nothing going on now. But Spanish Town is known for violence. You understand? But we can't continue to judge the past with the present every time. True, right, true. Right. They are hustling for our money. Not like in America where you have a million homeless people sleeping in the street. I haven't da, da, da. seen anyone pass out on drugs out here. America, they're everywhere. Why? People just on drugs True. on yeah. the streets. Yeah. Why? Why is there none of that here? We don't. We don't tolerate drugs here. In America, you pay people to get high. You pay people to stay on. Wow. And, um, drugs that say, oh, they are depressed, and you pay them to stay depressed. What do you dislike about Jamaica? Dislike. What is there to dislike? Uh, well, it constantly goes wow. to number one and number two as the murder capital of the world. Man for dead for make man live, brother. Yeah. Man for dead for make man live. What you say? What? Man for dead for make man live. That's this. That's your, your struggle. That's your struggle. What you think? Why are people murdering each other? The only thing you see the murder here in Jamaica is because it's per capita. In America, you guys kill more people than what we kill here in Jamaica. Don't ask about the murder rate. You know the murder rate in, in America. And when black people died in America, you guys do not step up to the plate for us. Well, that's not true. It is true. There was a whole riot in the United no, States across it, every major city when no, George it Floyd is true. died. When we die there, nobody speak on us. I disagree. We have to be honest here. We're talking per capita versus just overall. The United States has over a hundred times more people. Uh -huh. Per capita, people are killing each other more often here. No. That's true though. No. That's facts. No. That's statistics. No. You hear what you come up with? George Floyd. What about the guys that they're finding in the gutter? What about the 100 women that they find in Queens behind the building? This is a conversation over now in a pop the door. Okay, thanks for chatting. That actually is a great point though. We've seen very little hard drugs out here, if any at all. Yeah, that but is a good point. The murder stats here speak for themselves. Sometimes it's kind of hard to wonder if the facts are true, you know what I mean? Because some people, sometimes you wonder if people just come up with the numbers. That's true. Yeah. And as we walked through an alley, we stumbled upon a group of houses that have recently I mean, you wouldn't down. think that. Home? Yeah, in Brooklyn. When did this fire happen? Last week, last week Wednesday. What is the plan to get a new home? We'll be working with the government, the government's going to Was it a power line that hit? No. A liquid and son man was cooking right there, sir. Oh. Hey, yeah. If anyone wants to donate, you guys will take anything? Yeah, anything at all. We don't, we don't anything. We're just grateful for what you can give us. Yeah. If anyone reaches out and has something to offer, you'll yes, hit yes. them back up? 876 879 Five zero four six. That's your phone number? Yes, that's my phone number. Well, I hope for the best here. Thank you so much. As night approached, we made our Damn. way out of Spanish Town and through Coronation Market. The killing was right here. Oh, wow. What was that? Right here. Just it's been a while I haven't seen that happen down here, okay. to be honest with you. But I remember stories my grandmother used to tell me. Especially one, I remember one time she came home and all of the stuff was bloody. And all, I was like, man, what happened? You all right? It's not her blood. They killed a guy right next to her, and the guy fell in her in oh, her goods. Jeez. Oh, you think Jamaica's what? Gonna get safer? We can only hope. Bro. As the darkness cloaked our surroundings, we headed to the back road to see if we could find and interview some local prostitutes. We're trying to talk to a working girl to see how dangerous it is to work these streets at night. It's nine o'clock. When you see them, you'll know them. They're gonna be in a revealing dress and stuff like that. Are they gonna be calling and like, nice boy? White boy, what? Ah. <laughs> Think it's dangerous to be a prostitute out here? Well, to be honest with you, yeah, that cannot be safe. We had made it. There were working girls waving us down at every corner. Damn, there, there are a lot of prostitutes out here. This is one of the hotels where the ladies get brought to to have sex with the customers, the Johns. It is called the Pirate Ship Seafood Restaurant. I guess that's just a front or seafood restaurant by day, prostitute brothel hotel at night. A little bit inconspicuous at first glance but in actuality people are getting banged in there for 15 us dollars and we eventually found a prostitute willing to be interviewed if we blurred her what? face and paid her the same amount she would make for a few hours of her services where are we at right now back road so we're literally in a back road and are you working as a prostitute tonight yes how long have you been doing that? Long time, about two months. Uh, two, two months? Weeks, yeah. And how old are you? 27. 27? Is it dangerous working out here at night? Because sometimes I want to go home. 
I want some money for go home and so. So I just come out here to look some money for buy some grocery to eat or feed my kids. Do you feel like your life's ever at risk working the streets? No. No? You feel pretty protected and safe out here? Yeah. Do you like working the streets? No. Is there anything people misunderstand about prostitutes out here? Yeah, what about people understand about prostitute, bitch, or? Oh, you have a lot of people use those names? Yeah, people use those names. She's saying that remember that when time persons call them dirty words like those, they have to remember that she's a person and she's I somebody see. else's daughter. Have any of your co-workers ever been murdered? One girl and one man get killed. That is about two months ago. How much longer do you think you'll keep doing this? Short time till we get some cash. Some cash? Yeah. When do you go home at night, typically? I leave here by 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Why so soon, though? Round here, son of feel safe for me. What happens at 2, 3, 4? Prostitute, two, then get robbed round here. Have you ever been robbed? I get robbed already. Then rob my phone and my money right at the hotel up there. So you got robbed up there? Oh, damn. Ago. Well, thank you so much for your time. Be safe, okay? Look there, she's getting the next business right. She's on it, she's on her grind. And then someone just pulled in. She's about to get to work. Do you think Jamaica's pretty safe? No. No? No, it is. But there are certain times and there are certain things that you should never get yourself mixed up with. Don't be with the wrong crowd at the wrong time. We're hearing mixed results of kind of dangerous sometimes, sometimes it's not. Seems like for the most part, these ladies are trying to make some coin. Seems like you might just get unlucky sometimes and someone robs you, assaults you, kidnaps you. She also grabbed my, my dick. <laughs> oh, was it? She just walked up and bam! And I'm like, and, oh, oh, was it? Yeah, no. Yeah, you liked it. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> One of the girls come and shake my hand and said, I thank you so much for this because it's a few minutes and I made her night. There so. we go. And honestly, it seems a little bit more chill out here than usual. I thought we'd be accosted by a pimp by now. It seems that like most of these girls are freelance. Freelancers. Yeah, they're yeah. just doing their own thing. We have more sex uh, okay. motels right there. 24 seven plus cable TV, $15 experience. You told me being gay is illegal here? Yeah, man to man in Jamaica, it's illegal. Okay. So if you're caught having sex with another guy, you can get jail, jail time. But we do have a lot of gay men here, just like anywhere else. Being gay in Jamaica is illegal if you're caught in the act. Yeah, but people do catch people they in the act. Caught. Yeah. So we headed downtown to interview some transgender okay. prostitutes to learn about their experience being LGBTQ plus in a country where it's illegal to change your gender or to be caught being gay. Are you working the streets right now? Yes, I'm in the streets. And you're a uh, transgender? Yes, I'm a transgender. How long have you been transgender? About seven years now. Yes, I'm from 12 years old. And how old are you? 19. I've heard it's illegal to be gay out here. Is that true? Yes, it's very illegal to be gay. Sometimes them fight in a community. You can't go back home, go live. But sometimes I go my come home community, go look for my family and so. But you know me, I have to be in the streets because them accept my, my homosexual lifestyle. And um, how is it working the streets out here? Sometimes it's pretty easy. Sometimes it's very rough. You have nights when we catch one look at dollar. You have nights when you catch nothing on at all. You have to fight it. Mosquito bite you up under the gully. Rat run, come and kiss you and the things and say you have a 50-50 chance. It was dangerous working out here? Chase. Very dangerous. Do you think you'll walk away from this type of work at some point? Yeah, hopefully one day. So you have real breasts and a real penis? Yes, I have real penis. I see. If the police catch you in the act, you'll go to jail? Then we run your home and date. Some of them we lock you up. Some we send your home and tell you don't make them see back. Some we lock you up. Some we pepper spray. Some we beat you. So you have them work out for them mood and oh, stuff. The our life is our life. We live our life to do it. Oh, I wa we want to live our lives and we should be free and walk and pre people not bashing us. All right, I'm here with? Kim, Kim. What are, what are your pronouns? I'm a she. How long have you been a she? About 15 years. 15 years? It's really risky out there. Police abuse with man abuse with all type of people abuse with. Was it very dangerous? It's very dangerous out there. How old are you? I'm 35. 35? Do you think Jamaica's accepting of who you are? It's really risky, same here, but cause I same here the other day, them killed one trans woman. Hey, did you know that person? Yeah. That's like, homosexual Jesus. and then kill them in other house. They killed them in their house yeah. for having sick gay sex? Yeah, I'm They burned, burned them? them? Yeah, burn them. It's very, very risky being out there and being out there. Wow. What? Jamaica's a safe country? No. Not safe for our lives. Not for our lives. Would you believe me if I said it's the murder capital of the world? I think so. Is it risky out here to get diseases like HIV and that sort of thing? Yes, it's a high risk. 
high risk? No, it's not a high risk. No. We have okay. organization out here who come out here and help us and give us condom and give us safety safe to think. So, so even when we see people driving yeah. past us pretty aggressively, yeah. are you scared they might hit yeah. you or yeah. try to shoot? Yeah. Or? We don't know, we don't know what where they're up to. Like, even when we drove up, were you skeptical of like, what are these yeah. guys up to? And I was actually pretty scared though because I thought you were Oh, right over there. Yeah. Well, you guys are all very sweet. I hope you guys stay safe. And as they started to spontaneously show off their bodies to the camera, out of nowhere, two armed muggers came over to rob me and my cameraman and barely spared us only after recognizing Jamaica walk by as he yelled, Bumbleclat in the distance. They told us to turn the cameras off, and instead of robbing us, they agreed to be interviewed if we brought them some cash. So we're interviewing transgender prostitutes on the street, and then you saw what? I saw a car pass. The freaking car made a U-turn. So I was like, all right, let me, let me just park the freaking van. You know what I mean? When I realized the guys come out of the van, come out of the, the car, and come to up and swing around. And I said, oh, shit. I realized that we're in trouble now. Because and within that time, these two guys came over with a knife and a taser to come rob and kill us. Or oh, kidnap. Because they might come and kidnap. Uh, like, what are you doing? What's going on here? And then I realized that you were trying to explain that they were going to rob and kill us. Yeah. But now they're all happy, go lucky, and interview us and tell us about them being gangbangers. Just like that. Man, I I'm nervous. Bumble clap. We're basically being extorted right now in real time to where we have to go get some cash or we run the risk of Fabian getting murdered and killed on the streets one day for conning them. So we have to get some cash right now because we spent spend all of our money interviewing prostitutes, not because we pre-arranged this, but because they were going to mug us. Cha-choo! Don't hate the player, hate the game. Let's go get robbed. Bumble clap. Bumble clap. Okay, so I'm here with, who are you, sir? Mr. AK-47. Mr. AK-47. Mr. AK-47, we're interviewing the transgender prostitutes. You are going to mug me? Yeah. Yeah? Did I look like easy pickings? Not really. Okay. Do you think I would have ran? No. Um, what would you have done to me if we didn't, you know? We'll just rob you and take away your stuff and let you go. Okay, I appreciate that. Can I see what you would have robbed me with? Oh, whoa. So that's a big old knife. <laughs> have you ever had to use it on anyone? No. So would you have walked up and said like, Give me everything. Give me everything. Give me everything. So I'm like, I'm talking to the ladies. How would you have done it? I'm just gonna take them. Fuck you. Oh, okay, got it. I'm gonna give you a fuck you, take everything. And then you would have left me there. And go about my business. Okay, so you wouldn't have stabbed me? No, I wouldn't stab you. Okay, you're a member of a local gang? Yeah. Do you pimp out the gays? Yeah, they have to give them money. When they work, they have to give them money. How often do you find guys like us for easy pickings and you want to mug them? The, the first time. We are the first? Yeah. So you saw us, you're like, all right, two white white guys. Yeah. They don't look that fast. Yeah, I would have stick with you. If I but here's you what know. I would have done. I would have done like a little. <laughs> you think you could have caught up to me? I'd run it up. Oh, shit. He's quick. <laughs> yeah, he actually would have killed me, yeah. Did you grow up in a rough neighborhood out here? Yeah, grew up in two by the guard. How much do you make per night? Sometimes 100 grand. Holy smoke. Is that a good day or a bad day? Well, it doesn't look like it's a good day, but you guys are here. <laughs> but you're gonna let us go tonight, right? Yeah. W was there any circumstance where you'd kidnap us? No, I would kidnap you. We're not kidnappable. No, we're not kidnappable. If I was a sexy, blonde-haired, blue-eyed girl, what would you do to me? Kidnap you. Actually? Yeah. How much could that go for in the market? It might be 100,000. 100,000? So it'd be like, hey, we kidnapped your daughter. How much can we get? 100,000. That's 100,000 US? Yeah. So how would that be feel like? You call the parents and be like, hey, we have your daughter. We're gonna kill her unless you give us this amount of money. And then if they didn't respond within like a day or two, would you like cut off a finger? The money will come. The money will come. Have you ever had to do that? I think about it. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Bumble clap. Bumble ass clap. Pussy clap. Pussy clap. And we're, here we have another young man. How you doing? I'm okay, bro. Thank you for not mugging me. Yeah. Who am I here with? My name is Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. How do you like Jamaica? Yeah, I like. You love it? What's uh, what's your biggest money making scheme out here? You do any contract killings? Yeah. Is that pretty dirty work? I don't do. Is it pretty like violent? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they stay out, out there? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Those boys on the road is there is fish. He's not a fish. You're a shark. Yeah, yeah. Are you a killer? Yeah, we rob people. Okay, what's the biggest thing you've stolen from someone? Like, what's the biggest like, robbery? Like a phone. Goodbye, thank you. 
Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was like, thank you, brother. Bumbo clad. You got to be smart. Where are you going to walk at night? We like, were not smart just then. You look at spooked right now. Yeah, I was because when I saw that the guy was actually coming over to you guys, some, some stupid guy would probably drive off. I didn't. I had to. Thank you for protecting. Okay. Thanks for saving us. <laughs> Blessing this one. After narrowly getting Jeez, mugged what a, and what a good guy, man. Away to Tivoli Gardens, the birthplace of the contract killer we met Tip last him. night, and arguably the most dangerous now, place Tyler in Jamaica. Now Tyler probably gave him. Apparently, gave this him community got ransacked sure. basically after the U.S. came in here to get coke and extradited him to the U.S. He was that villainous of a character, apparently. But his sons are plugged today. Would you like to tell us how it is out here in Jamaica? A nice, a nice good. country. Safe. Safe. Okay. I'm fine. I'm a born Jamaica. Okay, that's pretty And I sweet. love my country. Respect. Amen, brother. Respect you. Respect. I'm a nigger. Huh? I'm a, I, I'm a nigger. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? We nigger. Who the guy we nigger? What we, do you mean? Who the guy we the nigger? We say, okay, you white nigger. I, oh, I am. What was he trying to tell me? He said he's a bleeper? Yeah, I don't even want to get inside. <laughs> <laughs> this place back in the days used to be very tense. The police force and the community uh, was at war. It was no joke. Just out of nowhere, just it. randomly. And the news. The news don't. Yeah. So, and, <laughs> yeah, that one kind of sound weird. That sounded like a gunshot. Yeah, that kind of sounded like a gunshot. And it probably was. It probably was. Alright, so we are not welcome oh, to the I can't even see you, bro. So we got beef. No, 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 say that. So we're immediately met with a little bit of hostility. They don't like the yeah, camera. That's what I'm telling you. You have some people with, with like the camera, some won't. People don't show up here, especially that aren't from here, right? Yeah, as you can see, we step in a while ago and that guy was hesitant and start ball about the camera and a bunch of things. For God reasons, I don't know. If you look online, Tivoli Gardens, it's unlikely you'll see many locals visiting the area. According to Fabian, we have some protective cloak on us because we're white right now. I'm not sure if that's real. While the community was now covered with colorful murals, mm. only 14 years ago, it was covered with bullet holes and blood. How you doing? My name is Tyler. We're glad to be here. Yeah, we wanted to learn about Tivoli. So, yeah, who am I here with? I'm here with Ras Coco, yeah? Coco. And you have a pretty uh, legendary father as well? Yeah, as, as in family. I don't know, in the past, the old man was more politically and community oriented, you know? Okay. Damn, this community has a hair. lot of rich, rich history, you know? In like 2010, the community went through an incursion where a lot of persons lost their lives and it's really a dark Time, you know? and so this is you guys trying to move beyond what yeah, yeah. what passed? Passed like that. Those are bullet holes? Yeah. And that was the time I'm telling you about. A lot of persons were lost loved ones. Over 70 odd people oh, died, you know? Yeah. As I said, that is a part of the history where it's dark. Traumatic, man. So, you know, when you come with the art for the community, it's actually to give the youths them especially a different outlook. Why do you think so many people in Jamaica are killing each other? Ah, uh, mindset. Most people will say circumstances. Yeah, man. The island is not most, mostly negative. I think they are them as medias and persons who showcasing things just need to put forward the brightness that the, uh, the island yeah. is offering, you know? Just for context, Coco is the nephew of the infamous drug lord and gangster Christopher Coke, who was the leader of the Shower Posse drug cartel. The U.S. requested that he be extradited, and on May 24, 2010, Jamaica sent in 800 soldiers and 370 police officers to restore what? state authority and to arrest Christopher Coke, ultimately leading to the often disputed number of 73 civilians being killed. This bloodbath is simply referred to as the incursion. However, Coco here wants to push Tivoli towards a brighter and less violent future. You got a trampoline. This is badass. But we're planning to do the entire community like this. Like I said, back in 2010, it was a horrible time, you know? So we want to create new meaning and we want to create w. new thinking. As I said, the mindset. So we have 100 artists coming from all over the world because we're going to try to transform the city once and for all, you know? The vibes seemed peaceful, but I was also aware that I was being given a sort of red carpet-like treatment since I have a large YouTube channel, and I felt like I was given a North Korean-like tour and was being used to perpetuate inaccurate propaganda that this place was somehow super safe. But to be fair, most people I talked to seemed to be happy living here, despite yeah. many vaguely referring to it as violent. So we just uh, are those it. holes right there? Yeah, man. As we say, it's a dark time, you know. So all these right here are bullets. They're gonna be reshaped and reformed. Yeah, man, yeah, man. 
But despite the stigma, violent past, and even he just sounds violent like he just doesn't want to think about it anymore. I don't blame people him. People here were once again very opposed to the idea that this place was, in reality, the literal murder capital of the world. Uh, have you lived here your whole life? Yeah. How is it? Very safe there. right here now. Oh, it's safe right here now. Yeah. Can you tell me about what it was before this time? In the 70s, it was more rougher, but now it's reasonable good you know you remember the incursion yeah man i was right here in the yeah. incursion yeah what did you remember i see people dying we don't want to see that back again what are your thoughts on like the american travel advisory that says it's dangerous no well american can't say anything you know because for the murder rate is more higher than our own because them is killing 20 and 40 in a shopping mall we never have that in jamaica what is your favorite part about tivoli when i love sure. tivoli garden very much i love my community sometimes it peace and the kids them can run up and down and play and you know I can live up and down running up and down sometimes I'm in America already I'm spending my Christmas in there and I don't want to do it again I'd rather sit here and spend it in Tivoli is it dangerous out here that's what people say don't oh, dangerous to me very safe Safest community so far. Your thoughts on the, the statistics out there that say Jamaica is like the murder capital of the world? I think that's overblown. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably if someone who doesn't like live here will probably say, oh, it's like a lot of gunshots, but none of that. How you doing, man? Oh, you guys are gaming. Are you? Oh, playing some Roblox? What's going on here? Is this uh, the arcade? So the kids come in here and pay to play some games for a little bit? Yeah, like 50 dollars for 20 minutes. How did you come up with this business idea? Well, we look on the road and we never really see no, no, nothing for, for jobs in the youth, you know? So we make it some team? way where everybody can come and just chill. I like that, dude. Great job. So that young dude started the gaming center in there. Our community full of that, those type of people. Listen, it's safe to say that if I walked in Tivoli Gardens with my camera and without Jamaica walk by and Coco, I would have been lucky to limp out of there without my camera. But to be fair, Coco seems to be making legitimate efforts to rebrand the community and to push positivity. There you go. So if someone wants to check out the art project and contribute to the GoFundMe, where can they find you? They're on Instagram. Instagram, Tivoli Mural Project. Thank you for having us. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so clearly it's dangerous out there. I get that Coco's trying to reform the community, rebrand its image a little bit, but we were in the thick of it. It does seem like they're pushing positivity, and I respect that and hope the best for them. Shout out Jamaica Walk By. Without him, go. we would legit be dead or kidnapped right now. He makes videos walking all over Jamaica, talking to the locals, and is a genuinely good guy who is trying to better his community. He's also trying to reach 1 million subscribers by the end of the year, and I'd really appreciate it if you went and subscribed to his channel below. Also, whoever has the most be TikTok or YouTube short using a clip from this video i'll send you five hundred dollars post whatever many you times go. you Get want back. but you must tag my tiktok slash youtube at and put youtube tyler Oliveira in the title slash description shout out to tyler with the video